All right, so <laughs> welcome to my channel of psycho crazy things happening in life. Um, I'm back. Also, how the hell do I get this on? <laughs> Sitting in... Everything's fine. Um, also, I'm having a shit day um, and I need to get ready to go to an event that I really don't want to go to, but I said yes to going to a long time ago. So now I have to go and I really just, I have this planned out to be so professional and my mic isn't working. I'm, as you can see, cleaning out this room and stuff. So it's been a complete nightmare. Nothing is where it's supposed to be. It is a hot mess, but I at least have my desk cleared off. Um, back there is all my makeup kit stuff. So whatever, it is what it is. Sorry, I just wanted to do like a casual, like get rid of, I mean, I'm living out of a makeup bag still. Um, I've been gone almost every weekend. It's just been complete chaos. Um, and I really wanted to get a video filmed, so here we are. I just did my hair really quick. I washed it today and then just did a quick blowout. Um, when I'm in a hurry, I just do like my mohawk section, so that's why I look like a psychopath. Okay. Deep breathing. I don't know where anything is right now. So first things first, I'm going to go in with the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas. I love this stuff. I haven't used it in a really long time. <laughs> I haven't been here in a really long time. Um, I took a little bit of a break. I feel like I've taken a lot of breaks, um, but that's because I'm busy. I'm really freaking busy. Um, I'm working two jobs. I'm in the height of wedding season. For those of you who don't know, I am a freelance makeup artist. So I am doing all of that craziness. And I just also, have not been in a good headspace at all where I need to be whatsoever. Um, I'm taking my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation um, in the shade five and I'm just gonna buff it out with a brush. Um, I'm not where I need to be mentally and it's really screwing with everything. Um, so I'm trying to get my life in order and I really miss filming YouTube videos but it just also kind of, if I turn this on, does this? It just also kind of turned into something that like I felt like I had to do and I wasn't inspired and I just felt like, why am I doing this? I'm putting so much work into it. There's so many people out there that are so much better than me. And I just really was in a creative rut and I just was not feeling it. Um, I am very much a perfectionist so I thought that like every video needed to be like perfectly planned and perfectly staged and if the background was a mess or if my lighting wasn't perfect or and if you look at my videos they are not perfect whatsoever um the editing all of that kind of stuff I was such a like anal freak about and that's not what it's about I did I started YouTube because like I loved it and it was like a creative outlet for me. I also got a little bit of like imposter syndrome. Like there's so many people out there doing YouTube and stuff. Like it's so oversaturated. Like why am I bothering? Like why would somebody want to watch my videos out of everything that's going on? And that's not the way it should be. Like my self-talk was so negative. It was so bad. And so I just kind of abandoned it. Um, I just, I was like, I'm not doing the way I want to be doing. Um, but then I kind of came to the realization, like, I make videos for me. Like, I look back on my vlogs and love rewatching them and things like that. So, does it really matter how many people watch? No. And honestly, I've also come to the realization that there are, I don't even know how many subscribers I have, but I do have some subscribers. So that means that some people are interested in the content that I'm putting out. So I have decided that I am not going to take YouTube so seriously. Um, which hopefully will mean that I upload a lot more than I have been. Um, I'm really just going to wing it and I'm going to have fun with it. Um, I'm probably not going to have the most professional content. Um, my videos are not going to be the best edited out there. Um, 
but I need to stop putting so much pressure on myself. The same thing with like social media, Instagram and stuff like that. Like if you follow me on Instagram, I haven't posted in a long time just because I feel like the pressure and like I just, I hate everything that I post and I just overthink everything way, 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 way more than I should be. It's social media. It's not that serious. Um, I just went in with my hourglass concealer, by the way. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where I'm at with it. Um, so I'm going to sit here and do my makeup like I had originally intended and I'm just going to do the best I can and I'm going to do what makes me happy. And right now that is putting on my face of makeup in front of you guys and we're going to call it done. I'm just going to take my Charlotte Tilbury, um, airbrush flawless finish, um, powder and use that to lightly set my under eyes. I don't think I'm gonna like cream bronze or anything today. Like this just needs to be a quick makeup look. Like I said, I don't even wanna go. So we're just gonna go, we're gonna go quick. We're gonna do minimal. Well, I don't know about minimal cause I do kind of wanna look nice. I wanna make myself feel better because like I said, I'm not having a good day. Um, and then I'm gonna take this new Kosas um, Cloud Set um, powder in um, Comfy. I love this stuff. It's so pretty. It almost reminds me a little bit of like the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, but not as like shiny, I guess. I don't know. Love this stuff though. And I just do super light veil of it. And also one thing too, I haven't been making a lot of YouTube videos because my makeup style has changed so much. Like I'm really into like that like model off duty, like minimal chill kind of vibe. And if you've watched any of my videos in the past, that is not my style usually. I'm gonna take my Hourglass Luminous Bronzer. I'm just gonna bronze. I feel like I need to contour a little bit um, because if you can't tell, I have gained a lot of weight in my face. I've gained a lot of weight overall. Um, taking my Dior Contour Palette, I'm gonna take this grayish shade on a Narzita brush. Yes, it is 2021 and I'm still using a Narzita brush. Um, I feel not great about myself, which I think is also a serious contributing factor to a lot of this. Um, I've been working so hard lately. Um, like I said, we're in the full swing of wedding season and wedding season itself has just been a weird concept this year um, because of COVID and all of the reschedules and all of that stuff. So wedding season's kind of just been the entire time actually. So I've been going since like March. Um, like this weekend, I have three weddings. I have one Friday, I have one Saturday, I have one Sunday, I have a trial Sunday. Somebody's getting family photos done on Saturday after the wedding. I'm really bummed because I'm missing all of football season, which is finally back. Um, so it's just been like go, go, go. And I've really, really, really neglected myself. Um, I haven't been working out the way I should be. I haven't been eating well at all. And this is actually the heaviest I've ever been in my entire life. And I, for vanity reasons, also, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend that I don't care about the way I look, because I do. I think we all do. Um, I'm gonna take MAC Lovejoy blush. It's just a really pretty like bronzy blush color. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend that I don't care how I look and it doesn't matter to me and all that stuff because it does matter to me. I do care how I look. Um, but I also feel terrible. Like I'm always exhausted. My stomach, oh, my insides are not pleased with me. Let's just, let's just say that. That wasn't quite peachy enough. So I'm gonna pop a little bit of Hey Coral Hay if I can get it open, just on the apples of my cheeks. Yeah, I've just been really, really unhappy with myself. So that plays into a ton of it. I know that. I'm gonna take some MAC Fix Plus just to really melt all that in. I haven't been particularly kind to myself either mentally, so 
that doesn't help it's just it's been a really hot freaking mess over here so um just know if you're going through it i'm here with you i understand it's hard life is hard it's been tricky it's been weird these few i would say the last year um we're all kind of i don't know um so this is the nars eye primer in dark i'm actually going to use this as shadow today and just kind of blend this all over my eye mainly focusing it in the outer corner also this week i was so freaking stressed about work and everything that i um managed to pick off all my eyelash extensions so i am now left with pretty much nothing so we're definitely gonna have to put some falsies on today because <sighs> sheesh girl it is not good. I did have a little bit of glue remover, like eyelash glue remover, that I bought from the last time I got lash extensions. So ugh, my eyelids are like sore. Um, so I used a little bit of that, but whew. yeah, I still managed to rip out about 90% of my eyelashes. Awesome. Okay, so I just put some lashes on um, and did a little bit of liner and bottom mascara. I tried this new plumping stuff and holy shit, it's burning. I accidentally licked my lips and my tongue is now tingling. Um, the lashes I used are the Kiss Lux Extensions um, in the style classic. They're just like super natural looking. Like I said, I didn't want anything crazy. So now I'm gonna do my brows really quickly and I'm gonna do these pretty messily actually um, because I'm just not in the mood to, do, to sit here and do brows the whole time. Um, so taking a clean spoolie and my Anastasia brow freeze um I've only used this like twice before so I'm still playing around with it I think it's okay though like it's it's fine I just tinted my brows last weekend so I don't think I really need to fill them in too much the one thing I will say I do like about the brow freeze is unlike my other brow wax that I normally use, which I will show you guys one of these days, um, because I want to do like a fluffy laminated brow kind of tutorial, um, is it doesn't take off my foundation the way that one does. I mean, it does like a little bit, obviously, if you're putting a gel on top of like powder and stuff. Um, but not nearly as much as that one. So I don't have to do my brows first, which I love. I hate doing my brows first um, because I just think it looks a lot more like unnatural. I don't know. I haven't mastered making them look super natural and fluffy and then like carving them out. It's just not my vibe lately. So I will say the one thing with this brow freeze, it's super easy. You just slick them up and you're good to go. I'm going to fill in some of the sparse areas just because they have faded a little bit, but I'm going to go ahead and let that dry first. For my highlight, I'm actually going to use a cream one. I love the formula of this product, but I absolutely, absolutely, absolutely despise the packaging. Charlotte Tilbury, we need to do better than this because this is un- unacceptable these little squeezy tubes sorry i'm just looking for a brush these little squeezy tubes that get product absolutely everywhere like i just i don't understand i had this in a makeup bag when i was traveling and it exploded all over the place and i know you're supposed to like lock it and like unlock it twist it like look at that that's a freaking nightmare i know you're supposed to do that i've done that and it's still like there's so much product in the lid it's just such a mess but I do like this highlight a lot. I like the consistency and I do put it on top of like powders and stuff. It's really, really subtle. Um, so I'm just gonna pop a little bit of that on my, my nosy. And it doesn't take any product off. And then I'm gonna pop a little bit on my cheeks and just use my finger to blot that out. Just a really pretty like healthy glow. Like it's barely noticeable. It's what I love about it. Back in my highlight drawer you go. So I'm just gonna fill in my brows really quickly off camera and then 
I think we'll be done. To do that, I'm just using my brow blade. Um, like I said, I have a tutorial coming for you guys. Um, a ton of people have asked me for it, like my friends and stuff. They're all like, film a YouTube video on how you do your brows. So it's coming. Um, so I'm not gonna go into huge detail. I'll just show you guys at a later date. So finishing touches, um, I'm just gonna take this MAC lip liner in the shade Spice. I want like a nude neutral, but I don't want to look like dead. I want like a little bit of color. I'm just going to take a Fenty Gloss Bomb. That's good. Mm-hmm. That's kind of what I was going for. Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. There we go. All right, let's take these suckers out. If you want an in-depth tutorial on how I blow out my hair, it's actually my last video on my channel, I'm pretty sure. So feel free to check that out. Oh yeah. I feel very like retro with my hair like this and then this like cardigan sweater thing. This was a nice little therapeutic sit down chit chat. So thank you guys so much for watching.